So we got Chopin a new <laughs> enrichment puzzle. He goes through enrichment puzzles so fast. I don't know if it's because when we first got him, we were like giving him a ton of enrichment like puzzles in general, but like we've kind of understood which ones he can do and which ones he can't. But it was so funny because early-ish on, I got this one and this is supposed to be like fairly difficult is what they said. And he goes through it so fast. And we've had like other ones. I think we actually got rid of some of them because they were so beaten up and like he had like ruined them. Um, but also because he was solving it so quickly. So we just bought a new one. So for this one, what's the best way to show? He has to turn it. And what happens is, I'll undo this, but. Oh, did I not take it out? Okay. That it will fall into here and then it will fall into each respective little things. So this seems pretty hard and he's never really had to do like this type of mo movement. So I'm hopeful that this will be, I don't know, it'll really get his brain going. And I think in the beginning, we'll just keep all them open like this. But what's also nice is, is for the person <laughs> that has to actually refill this, when you open this, is it this side? What's this side? Whoops, sorry. All you have to do is pop off the top and you can just put all the food in here, which is so nice. So it's even easy to like refill. Like some other ones I had to go in each one and like open it and like this one is a lot easier. Come on, Chopin. Ready? You're gonna... after since we've gotten this and he's gotten a lot better i've been telling him to give me paw and he will give me paw and kind of i'll let him yeah just like that and now i can just point at it but he doesn't understand that he can do it on his own it's okay bye. come on yes and then i'll just help him so that he understands that just putting his paw on it is the right direction got back from walking Chopin and we had just gotten Chopin a new like donut bed because Henry had peed all over the other one and it was like we washed it so many times that it, he just kept on going back and of course he is just enjoying and testing out Chopin's new one that we just placed there temporarily when his is right there we literally got him one because we thought he was jealous oh goodness and of course now he knows he knows that he wasn't supposed to be in there so now he's out and now Chopin wants to play because he's super hyper after his walk Chopin where's Henry <laughs> We came to Brooklyn because we are going to a print shop right now, or a print sale, sorry. Um, I just wanted to add more posters and like artwork to the apartment. I feel like sometimes it's really bland. 
So I'm hoping that they have some cool stuff. We also took Shopani, but he's stressed. ago it's pretty it's nice weather outside i just feel so gross because i got a big pimple right here i have a pimple patch on it right now um but i'm not motivated to like look all pretty because of that pimple it's like in the most inconvenient spot so i think i'm gonna do something really light maybe just like cover up some of my like other blemishes that I have on my skin. The other day, Eric and I went to go to that poster print sale. And oh, it was so disappointing. Like one, it was just really hard to sift through everything. Cause obviously you don't want to like rip anything, but also it just was a lot of, not nothing that was like particularly my vibe. Um, I don't really care to have like exhibition floral posters or like more traditional like artwork posters i don't know how to explain it but nothing really stood out to me i'm hoping that today will be really fun this two-faced like milk chocolate um bronzer is like perfect it's not too bronzy it's not too dark. Recommend for people who have lighter skin tones. I mean, they have um, like this, this specific shade. Um, they have like regular chocolate, and then I think um, they might have dark chocolate as well. I have to redo my nails when I come back because the stickers are coming off, which kind of makes me sad because they were so pretty. We just got to the place. But I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> the elevator is apparently really slow, so. So we got one that's lychee chiffon. That looks so good. And then cinnamon misukaru, majo misukaru yosso. Baby, I 
I want to try the cakes that Eric and I made the other day. This one is the lychee one, and this one is the bisucaro chocolate one. Woohoo! Eric's looks so cute. I feel like because oop, because it was like strawberry. Look how good that is. I actually think yours looks better than mine. I think mine is just really like typical. Like it looks just like a typical cake. Oh. Should I just cut a quarter? <laughs> Yours is definitely like super fruity. It's good. It's just really fruity. Is it a jam, right? Yeah, I think I know what she means. Like when we were doing this class, the girl was saying how she picked these two flavors because she felt like they were like complete opposites and that like people who consume cake typically they are there are like two groups of like either either fruitier or like more like chocolatey or like super sweet in that way um and i definitely can taste taste that for sure Your a little present <laughs> <laughs> 